Hey everyone, today is going to be a video, kind of like vlog style, but kind of a tag because I do have a question, a few questions that I want to make sure that I hit. Since I am graduating on Friday, which I'm so excited about by the way, um, it's going to be kind of about like my high school experience and like specific questions that I think that you guys may have about my high school experience and hopefully this this will be helpful for um, for you guys that are still in high school or for any like eighth graders entering high school or for um, any seniors that are like um, getting ready to graduate like 2012 and need advice about like college and like my senior year and stuff like that so um, I'm gonna touch on a little bit of all of that and so I have a few questions written down that I want to make sure I, that I talk about and so I'll just go ahead and get started um, the first question is, how was your transition from middle to high school? Well, mine was a little bit different because um, because I went to I went to the high the middle school that fed into my high school for sixth and seventh grade. But then in eighth grade, I switched schools for just a year and I went back to my high school. So like I kind of already knew some of the people that were there, but um, but since I didn't go to the regular um, eighth grade that all of them went to, so it had kind of changed between eighth grade and ninth grade. And so um, I kind of didn't know like everybody. I knew like about like half of the ninth graders that were coming in and I didn't really know any upperclassmen or anything like that and so um, it was kind of like when I walked into the school it was a lot bigger than my middle school um, it was probably like a thousand more students from my middle than my middle school had which is kind of a lot because my high school wasn't really that big anyways and so um so it was like a lot of students about like um, 2,000 students maybe and um, and I didn't know, I probably knew like 500 or not even 500, probably 300 of them. And so it was a little bit like, um, it was a little bit overwhelming on my first day of high school, especially because like um, finding classes and stuff and like transitioning from where you're the oldest in the school to where the, you're the youngest in the school, it was kind of hard. But um, I did have, since I was in honors classes, um, all my friends from 6th and 7th grade were also in honors classes. So I did have my friends for my first year, not for my sophomore year, but for my freshman year, they were all in my same classes. And so it wasn't that hard for me. Like I still had my friends. It wasn't like I have to make completely new friends. But you know, I still had my friends. So it wasn't like that bad, but it was a little bit overwhelming um what tips do you have for making friends in high school um my biggest tip that I can tell you is to just like join clubs join sports if you're interested in like um football and try out for the football team if you're interested in cheerleading try out for the cheerleading team because they have like tons and tons I think my school probably had like like 75 clubs that like they offered for anyone to join and so I feel like when you join a club then you're in classes with people who have in, who have similar interests to yours it's not like um so it's easier to make friends with um with people that are like you than just like in your classes also um they'll help you um meet like because for every club you have to have like a, a teacher that's like the organizer or whatever and so um to those teachers, like for the clubs that you join and the um, sports that you join, um, they're great for recommendations, and you'll definitely you'll definitely need those when you're like um, in your senior year when you're like applying for colleges and stuff like that. Um, next question: How do you stay positive with all the gossip and rumors? In high school, there are definitely tons of gossip and definitely tons of rumors, and like I don't know, like I feel like everyone in high school. Sorry, my dog is like barking because there's a truck outside. But I feel like everyone in high school has like had a rumor started about them. And like, I don't know, like, like, I don't know where these rumors come from. Like, it could be something completely just like untrue. And people would just like make it and people would believe it and spread it to other people. And that's, and I don't know, like rumors are just a part of high school. And I feel like they're always going to be a part of high school. Because um, in the age group, um, high school is usually like 14 to 18. Um, it's just like there's there's like 2,000 immature people in one school that see each other every day and um, it's just like um, someone will look at you and be like I don't like her and like for me like in order for me to say that I don't like someone I have to have like a reason not to like them I don't just look at them and say oh they're pretty I don't like them or oh they wear those kind of clothes I don't like them or oh they're not pretty I don't like them or something there's always like a reason why I have to like them like something that they have to do to me not like just the way they look or the way they act you know so um so in call in high school it's definitely um, possible that people will not like you for absolutely no reason at all. So I mean you just have to be prepared for that. Like you can't let that like mess up your high school years because while those people are there, there's also a lot of sweet and genuine people in high school and people that um, will become lifelong friends with you probably. And so um so. Saying 
positive. You just have to like let it roll off your shoulder like, okay, they're saying this about me, so what? I know it's not true. Like, who cares what they think about me? You know what I'm saying? Like, um, like you don't you just like don't even have to listen to it. Don't let it get you down. Like if someone's saying something about you, like, okay, and like, is that what you think? Oh well, who cares, you know? Like like you're above that so um just you know just don't let it get to you the, the rumors the gossip um whether it's about you or also don't be someone who spreads gossip because that that's not helpful at all either what's the biggest piece of advice that i could give to high school students um and i know this is going to sound really really cliche but like but you have to remember like when you go to high school you are in high school for an education you're not there just for a party you're not there just because your parents have to work and you need somewhere so they need someone to babysit you you're actually there to get an education so when you're in classes you want to make sure that you're working your hardest and that you're making the best grades possible because you don't want to come your senior year and decide that um that you don't have a good enough a good enough gpa to get into the school that you want to and you don't want to be your senior year oh i'm not going to apply to that school because i know I can't get in you know like you don't want to um you don't want to be rejected by every school that you apply to and then you're like okay now what like what am I going to do you know you want to make sure that you have like a good GPA and a good SAT scores that will get you into the college that you want to go to because that's like what's most important and so um take the most challenging classes that you know like if you think that you can um take an AP class and do well like make an A or B take an AP class if you think that you can take honors classes and do well make an A or B take honors classes because when you're applying for colleges those kind of classes definitely look good on your transcript and colleges definitely look at that don't think that oh i'm just going to take this class because it's an easy a because colleges when you're applying they definitely look at the rigor that your classes were so make sure that you take challenging classes but you don't want to take two challenging two challenging classes because if you're going to take an ap class and get an f then like you know that's pointless you're still going to have to repeat that course so make sure that um that your classes aren't too challenging but at the same time that they're not too easy how do i feel about relationships in high school um, I think that relationships in high school are fun. I just feel like in high school you shouldn't get caught up in relationships. Like while it is good to have a boyfriend, it is good to have someone that you can hang up, hang out with and um, like talk to on the phone and stuff and just like uh, have a best friend and a guy. I think that's really important. Like you should have girl best friends but you should have guys that you're pretty close to too. Uh, but I just think that it's important not to get caught up in relationships and it's important to realize that like a very high percentage, I don't know exactly what percentage but I think it's in the 90s of high school relationships do not work out so like if a guy is like I mean I don't know just don't like I mean I'm not saying don't take relationships seriously because obviously you shouldn't just be like just like um cheating on your boyfriend or your girlfriend or anything like that but um but I don't know just don't take him too seriously don't think that you're like married to this guy don't get like too involved with him don't do anything stupid with guys so don't think that like oh this oh I need to go ahead and find a guy right now and just like fall in love with a guy because there's no rush to fall in love with a guy and it's definitely like not worth it if it's gonna um if it's gonna be anything you regret so don't think that guys are like the end of the world and don't ever like belittle yourself for a guy or like lower your standards for a guy or anything like that because guys will come and guys will go <laughs> Another advice that I have um, for high school is just like don't ever like when you're making decisions really think about the decisions that you're making like don't ever like put yourself in a situation that's gonna make you do something that you'll regret later like whether it's like the next day or like five or ten years down the line or like when you're an adult and you have kids and you're like oh why did I get this stupid tattoo or something like that you know don't have any decisions that you'll ever regret in life just make sure that you really think about the choices that you make because the the um <clears throat> Because the choices that you make in high school will really affect will really affect you later on in life. It doesn't just end after high school. It goes on and on and on as long as your life is, as long as your life is. Okay, next I'm just going to talk about the application process for college applications really quickly. Um, first, I think that it's really important that you start searching for colleges over the summer. Um, this is what I did. I think I started in my junior year and I had, by the end of the summer, I had the list of the colleges that I really, really wanted to go to. And so I think that's important for you guys to um, just go ahead and start searching early. If you're um, entering your junior year, it's not too early to start searching. A good 
resource that I use for my um, for my college search is College Board, and I feel like College Board it um, it gives you an option to find a college that fits you. Like you can choose whether you want a large school or a small small school, whether you want it in the city or the country, whether you want like an all female school or a co ed school or um, your major, anything that you want. They'll they'll um, they have like like a thousand questions. Okay, not literally a thousand. Like distance from home, all that stuff, and um. And they'll find a school that really fits you. And, like, don't settle for any schools. Find a school that you really, really love. And um, once you find a school that you like, um, start. You want to make sure that you go, like, on a virtual tour. Like, if you go on any school's website, they'll probably have, like, a virtual tour. And you can just, like, tour the campus on your computer and see if, if, if it's something that you like. And if you do, then you should probably start your application process in, like, August. Because um, applications are kind of, like... I mean, you want you, you want to be um you want to be like the first name that your school sees, and they'll be like, oh, this person is so proactive. They already have their application in, and um they'll start reviewing it. And like I feel like as more applicants come in, then um the applicant the people that look over the applications get a little bit overwhelmed. So um. So if you get yours in, in early, then it'll be easy for them to say, oh yeah, she is a good candidate, she's accepted, you know, it'll be easy for them to do that. And so um, once you get accepted to your school, or even when you're waiting to hear back from your school, then you should go ahead and start um, visiting camp scheduling campus tours. Um, I feel like campus tours are really helpful to see if like that's the place where you want to spend the rest of the four, the next four years of your life. Like if you don't like the um, campus, if you think that it's like not pretty, or um, it's a huge campus and you don't really like walking around or anything like that. Then um, that's something that you know, like before you before you decide, yes, I want to go to this school, you know. So um, make sure that you start doing your um, campus tours early. Next is that you have that you want to have really good essays and really good teacher recommendations. Um, essays, I feel like um, your parents can proofread them, your older siblings, your teachers, if they um, if they like give you the opportunity, um, ask them if they can proofread your um, essays. You just want to have sparkling perfect essays and um you want when the reader reads your essays you want them to um to like see a little bit of your personality not just like a standard essay that you would submit to your teacher because obviously like your teacher i mean when your teacher's grading you they're grading you for like accuracy and stuff but when you're um but when your college um in your college application they're grading you on like your personality and like who you are you just want them to be able to um that you just want your personality to shine through your um essay and also recommendations um recommendations are so so important this goes back to like the sports and the clubs you can ask your sports team director your club um your club leader and all this stuff to your um your your pastor at um, church your team pastor whatever um to do your recommendations because you really want it to be someone that likes you because um because they can read you say you they can read in your essay that you say that you're a great person a million times but um if someone else says it about you then that actually makes a difference like they're like oh yeah she really is a good person because her teacher or her pastor or her cheerleading coach or whatever thinks that she's a good person you know what i'm saying so um so yeah, recommendations are so important. And even if your teacher, if, even if your school doesn't ask for recommendations, you still want to send one in. Um, lastly, look for scholarships. Scholarships are not, I mean, unless you have like a perfect GPA or something like that, or higher than perfect, whatever. Colleges, I mean, scholarships are not going to look for you. You need to look for scholarships. You need to find um, like scholarships.com or something like that. Find a good website that um, that you can search scholarships that, um, if you're a first generation student or if you have a deceased parent or if you have, if you're a twin or something like that. They have all kinds of scholarships. So make sure that you're looking for scholarships and, um, and start looking for scholarships, like, start now, whether you're a freshman, a sophomore, a junior, whatever, start now. Because those scholarships are just, like, as once the money's gone, the money's gone. And so it's not, like, it's never too early to start looking for scholarships. Um, so this is basically all the advice that I have for you guys about high school. If I miss any questions or um, if there's any questions that you guys want to know, just comment them below or message me or tweet me all that information or email me all that information's in the bottom link. And, um... If it's enough questions, like if people are asking like the same questions or something like that, then I'll definitely make another video if that's what you guys want to see. But um, in the in August or September, I plan on making another video because as you guys know, I went to a community college this year and I'm going to a university next year. So I'll probably do like a comp comparing and contrasting video about university and community college if you guys are interested in that. Or if you guys want any other school tips because I consider myself to be a pretty good school student. And so I probably could give you guys um, pretty good tips if you guys are interested 
interested in any other school related videos just let me know below and um yeah i think that's all i have to say um thank you guys for watching see you next time bye